example 9 in the figure shown compute the pressure difference between 1 and 2 in kilopascals when letter a fluid a is brine with specific gravity 1.15 the gauge fluid is oil of specific gravity 0.92 and the value of z is 1.1 meter then fluid a is water the gauge fluid is air this one air and z is 300 mm then assuming normal barometric pressure how deep is the ocean at a point where an air bubble upon reaching the surface has eight times the volume than it had at the bottom so for the first part let's call this y because this is not known so we sum up pressure from one down to two by passing these intervening passages here and we will, therefore this is equal to 1.4 minus y because the vertical distance between points 1 and 2 is 1.4 so beginning with 1 the pressure is p sub 1 then it is the same here same level we go down so plus specific weight of fluid a we'll just call that gamma a times y then the pressure here is equal to the pressure here so we rise up to here this is the gauge liquid minus gamma of liquid times z gauge liquid times z the pressure here is equal to the pressure here so we jump across nothing changes in the equation then we go down by z plus 1.4 minus y and we reach this point which is at the same level as 2 so they have the same pressure so plus gamma of fluid a because this is fluid a times quantity z plus 1.4 minus y then equals the pressure here which is equal to the pressure at point 2. now notice that gamma a y can be cancelled gamma a y positive then gamma a times negative y zero so p1 minus p2 equals gamma of the gauge liquid times z and this becomes minus gamma of fluid A times Z plus 1.4 because we cancelled gamma A times negative Y and gamma AY. So equals gamma of gauge liquid times Z minus gamma of fluid A times quantity Z plus 1.4. So substituting values P1 minus P2 equals specific weight of the gauge liquid is 0.92 times 9.81 times 1.1 and minus 1.15 times 9.81 times quantity 1.1 plus 1.4 so we can now compute the difference between pressure in 1 and 2 it is equal to negative 18.28 kilopascals so that means the pressure at Point 2 is greater than that at 1 obviously because the gauge liquid is being sucked in that direction then for 9.1b fluid A is water the gauge fluid is air so if this is air that means gamma of the gauge liquid is negligible so we still use this equation because the result would still be this equation here so p1 minus p2 equals gamma of the gauge liquid times z minus gamma of fluid a which is this time water times quantity z plus 1.4 so again same result because we can cancel gamma of a times y and this is the simplified form we just set gamma of gauge liquid zero here because it is air gauge liquid the gauge fluid is air so p1 minus p2 equals zero times 0.3 minus 9.81 times quantity 0.3 plus 1.4 so the difference in pressure between one and two is negative 16.68 kilopascals then in this situation here so we have an ocean floor where 
we have an air bubble we have a bubble here that rises as it rises it expands because the pressure decreases with depth and that's why the volume of the bubble here is eight times the volume than it had at the bottom so that's the situation so if this is volume one exposed now to the atmosphere then its volume is eight times volume two where this is the original bubble with volume v sub two and the uh, depth of ocean floor from the ocean surface is denoted by h so we apply Boyle's law here p1 v1 equals p2 v2 absolute pressure one volume one volume of air in the air in the ocean surface equals p2 v2 where v2 is the volume of the ocean floor so p1 is normal barometric pressure means 101.3 kilopascals times 8 v sub 2 equals p sub 2 is p1 pressure 1 plus gamma of ocean water times h so it is 101.3 plus 1.03 specific gravity of ocean water times 9.81 specific weight of water times depth h that's the pressure at point 2 absolute then times volume of of the bubble at the ocean floor which is v2 we can cancel v2 101.3 times 8 equals 101.3 plus 1.03 times 9.81 times h so only h is unknown here then we can solve for h 70.18 meters